Well, good morning everybody. We're back. You might have thought we'd gone disappeared, but based on what it is, we've had no bloody cars. But the phone has been bloody quiet for a week and a half. Um so we've had no content for you guys. But last this week it just gone. Started to pick up a little bit. Um we've got a couple of cars about us now, we're gonna show you them now. But yeah, don't worry. I know we haven't posted for like say two weeks or so. Um Obviously, because the price has crapped up, everyone's weighing their own stuff in now, which you can't blame them. But I'll show you around anyway. As you can see, we've got this diesel Astra State 1.3 scrap been on a farm that's been stood a while. So that's getting in. We're going to get weighed in first. We also bought this Nissan Note petrol. It's got MOT on this till November. So I'm running this one myself at the minute. It runs and drives fine. Um, there's, there's four cars down here. There's a the Megana State, which you know about, which I was using before. There's also that Citroen C4 diesel, a diesel Focus, and a little petrol quarter at the back there. If you, if you see that there, all they need to go. They'll be going this week, hopefully. Still got the Vito and Luke's Peugeot. Vito is for sale if anyone's interested. Today, we've had a phone call yesterday where I got my red smiley from um, six months ago, wherever, whenever it was. They had a Nilman Imp, so we'll see if we get one owner. And he's on about selling it now, so we're going to nip over there this morning and have a look at that. Hopefully, strike a deal with that. He had a Monday owner of trailer as well for sale. So hopefully, we'll try and have a deal on everything. If there's enough wages in it for us both, we'll buy it. Um, I've also had the shed rendered, as you can see. There's the dogs, little buggers. Um, so yeah, we're back at it today. Just trying to get our Luke out my mum's, here he is. Okay. I told him we're back. Back at it, eh? Yeah, I said the phone started ringing a bit now. So it's been a bit quiet for the last week and a half, hasn't it? It has. A few people, even his mum were just saying then, get another video on, they've been missing us. Missing us bits and bats. <laughs> so I just told about the old minute we're going to look at. Yeah. Showing well, the cars, what we've got. Hopefully there might be some other bits. Yeah, they said they were Monday on there as well. So. The trailer. Mm. Be good. We've, um, we've sold a couple of motorbikes on eBay to keep his wages up like, so. It's been quiet, hasn't it? It has been quiet. But we're going to keep going. What we're going to do with this, I'm going to chop it cat off this one, I'm just going to roll it off or... Uh, we'll roll it off here, because we've got to get over there, haven't we? Yeah, we've got to be there for 10. We're going to roll this one off now then, guys. And get over to uh, Blackburn to have a look at this, this classic car. See if we can have a deal. Well, people, here we are. The chap, Duncan's given permission to, view, uh, to look round his shed. It was his father's, and sadly now we're going in a home. We have bought this car. I'll show you around it. What is it, a D Reg Luke? Super Imp, D Super Imp, Reg. D-Reg Not bad Nick, it's been touched up it's been, Yeah, it's been touched up, it's had sills and stuff I think before But it's had, it works not, uh, it, it says one owner But it's uh, it's got two owners on logbook, but it's the same owner in the family that's changing name um, Stacks of paperwork with it Lovely leather interior It's quite clean What touch you make a good classic for somebody, won't it? Yeah I don't think us two are uh, right size for this loop, do you? It'd be like Mario or Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong with his arms hanging out the window trying to drive this bugger on. <laughs> We've also purchased a trailer and a Monday off him as well. Has a job lot price for everything. Um, we'll get some better video of it when we get it back home, but I just thought I'd give you a quick show around it. And it's original garage find. Original garage find. So, right, but we'll see you when we get back home. Well, we're just going to park and um, parked up in uh, Blackburn just to go on to Santander to get some money out for the bloke for the Ilman Imp Super. Uh, just had a phone call, Officer Dean's gone to the bank. He's, he's only gone and brought his garage keys with his, and someone's turned up for the Royal Enfield that sold on eBay over the last week. So now it's a big mad rush to get back there because we're trying to get his mum and dad to occupy them when we get back because the logbook for the actual bikes are in Dean's shed. So a bit of a mishap, so we're running around like blow ass flies now. <laughs> but it should all be good. This is this, um, Ilman Imp, it actually looks not a bad car. 
a genuine thing really. Oh. And the Mondeo oh, and the trailer, I think my dad will try and claim the trailer off us, it won't see tail tailboard uh, actual power boarding or aluminium checker plate on it, something like that. But it'll make one. So anyway, we're gonna get them all loaded up and we'll see you back. See you soon. Right, we're uh, we're back at the place. We're gonna get the. I've tied it underneath. We're gonna get it on now, so I'm gonna try and get it dragged on. Yeah. For a long time and it's rock sorry it's been looked after i would just say to the camera here oh, tell right. him, just telling them about the car about right. its history it's been dry stored the owner's well looked after it and like i say he's had the hand breaking out of gear so hopefully it should roll under it so it won't be we'll check yeah she's moving i like to say i never put hand brakes on no It's about at that. This tripod's coming handy now for this. It's taking us time, make sure you don't want no accidents. Oh, that won't look good. <laughs> Yeah. Well, she's on now. Uh, hopefully, that's saved on the last bit. Hopefully, I'll just check camera later. But it'll make some funny noises. We're going to have a quick walk around it. You see, well, it's had bits of work here, but nothing bad for one of the car at this age. Old D. It's not too bad at all. You know, it's actually got potential. It's had little bits, but nothing major. Definitely potential with it. Got a strapped up van now, she's only tiny. I thought you'd get two of these on here. You see it's daylight now though. How small things actually are. The box of receipts, I'll let you have a look through them in a minute with you when we get back to Paddyham. Dean's already gone in the Mondeo. He had to get back for the uh, bloke who's come for the motorbike. It's all been looked after, it's been red leaded and stuff, so. Oh carpet, see it looks it looks alright. Oh mate, when he said he just wants a uh, bit of tinkering with the carburetor he said he weren't getting fuel up so it might be either out of fuel or a blocked up super imp so right i'll see you soon people well folks we're back home now i'll just show you this monday i picked up 
56 red just scrap based it's only done 70 off album it's in bloody limp mode it took me about half an hour to get off my bloody blackburn and this trailer nice solid trailer heavy duty uh, i think it's an 8 before just a bit bigger than 8 before wooden floor but it's a uh, steel sides twin wheel that's for sale if anyone's interested this is just that mondeo like i said 70 odd thousand probably going it bin it's got six month test on it but it'll be going it bin i think i don't know if you are uh, how looks at it might not have filmed to win out that uh car i hope it has for you guys but uh i'll just show you around it anyway there's an old d reg that paperwork there, Luke? Yeah, I'm just having a quick look through now. The rake of paperwork. Yeah. Roof line is really good condition. Really good condition car, really, isn't it? For its age. What is it? 66, is it? D. 1966. Yeah, but it's somewhere along that. Yeah. I think that's what it says on logbook. Log Obviously, it's had a few patches, as be expected. But for a 50 odd year old car. It's in worse, in worse box all courses. <laughs> yeah. As you can see there, look. Is that the original log book? Is that the original one? Registration book, yeah. Small tax discs and stuff like that, and it's old MOTs and... Yeah, there's, there's some personal information yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I'm saying, but there's just handbook and stuff there. Some old uh, Vauxhall Bedford paint, GM paint, spray paint. <laughs> Yeah, it will do. It'll make one for someone. This, if anyone's interested, in this it will be up for sale. I might stick it on eBay, but let me know. Let's look at the engine, innit? Yeah, show them the engine, like. There's no point eye on them, so they're a bit of a big ass tan rope. What are you cleaning here, though? Do you want to show them? Yeah, we'll quick look. Like I said, it looks like basic design, like an old Volkswagen engine, doesn't it? Out at Beat or similar. Looks like it's got a new uh, coil thing on it. New dizzy and coil. Yeah. The bloke said, he said it just wants fuel dragging up. He said it'll, it'll go. It's obviously serviced it looks a bit. New plugs and these new brake brake lines and stuff on it. But nice and solid. It's been looked after in the right places. They've red leaded it in the right places where it should have been done. The battery tray is all original and still there. Someone just wants a fresh battery on it. It all looks alright though. What mileage on it, Dean? 66, wasn't it? 66. Super imp. Opening back window. I'll have to chuck your McDonald's wrappers out. Look at that. <laughs> it's aircon. Back in there, that. Plenty of safety in these old cars, by the looks of it. I like to be slamming on and hitting out with seats, what just come straight forward. A bit of a tight squeeze in here. Don't be getting stuck in there, Luke. I'll get a fire again. Chop roof, <laughs> chop roof off and spoil it. <laughs> Look at that. Some old roll up still in there. 68 foul. Hillman. Four speed up the chalk up floor. It's getting, we're getting old school chalk on floor. Is that air box? Yeah, screen wash, is it? Screen? Oh, that oh no, off the screen. Oh, so I got a bit of thing on it. I can't see it'd be uh, very good. That's a bonnet uh, from. Let's have a look under there, eh? Yeah. Look at bonnet, see if there's any goodies under there. Like I say, we couldn't have a proper look round it while we were there, but we just made sure it were uh, nice and solid, which it is. Where is it, Dean? That's on. There we go, there's the uh, hubcap here. Oh, yeah, I mentioned hubcap would be a thing. The new brake lines, owner's handbook for him. I think there's a jack kit in there, spare wheel. What's that there, Dean? Don't just make sure you've got a camera on it properly, that's all. Got that book on it. Yeah, some bits of spares, isn't there? Yeah. There must be catches for bonnet, eh? Or something like that. I think maybe. Yeah, it's bits of old, bits of spares in there with it. What else does that say? What's that say on there, D? Where we're looking, bud. That's that old windscreen, innit? Washer. You don't make them like that anymore, do they? All these stickers on. No. It's about pink air boxes at the front there. Come from yeah, the front. so it's a nice, uh, tidy car for the age. Yeah, it's not bad. 66. How old do you make it at? It is, it is, I'm sure that said on there, 66. When England won World Cup last. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we managed to get this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. So, uh, yeah, so that's like I say, cheap, well, cheap user in a cheap classic car. If you're going to 
good start in plastic, innit? Yeah, yeah. So, right, we're going to leave it there, people, for this one. Nice, short, and sweet video, but we are back now, back to work. Don't you like that? Keep smashing that like button and subscribing. And leave some comments on it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.